secretive lights vile saucers outsider kidnappings somewhere in the range of 1947 and 1969 at the stature of the cold war in excess of 12,000 ufo sightings were accounted for to project blue book a little highly confidential air force group their main goal to experimentally explore the episodes and decide if any represented a public safety danger of the three after-war government examinations concerning unidentified flying items project blue book was the most seemingly perpetual was its central goal to research or expose venture sign was ended in late 1948 and supplanted by the brief project grudge which was subsequently prevailed in 1951 by the now popular project blue book Based at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base close to Dayton, Ohio, Blue Book filled in as the public authority's fundamental store for sightings of unidentified flying wonders. Over the course of the following 18 years, its small staff examined a huge number of reports and frequently went into the field to talk with Americans who had encountered close experiences with all way of flying saucers and plates, stogie molded rockets and astonishing evening lights. With the finish of Project Blue Book, the central government authoritatively escaped the matter of UFOs. President Jimmy Carter later proposed that NASA investigate the subject in 1979, however the organization disputed because there was insufficient substantial proof to warrant an examination. Individuals are frightfully keen on what these UFOs are, or they are not. What's more, at this stage with the work that they've done, we don't have the foggiest idea what they are. We don't have the foggiest idea what they aren't. What's more, I believe it's vital. On the off chance that we stop it now, we achieve practically nothing. According to Air Force officer Edward Ruppelt and others who studied UFOs for the government, Project Sign produced a report in the summer of 1948 speculating that the sightings might be evidence of interplanetary or extraterrestrial craft. Air Force brass supposedly rejected and destroyed the document on the grounds that there was no hard evidence for its conclusions. To this day, no copies of the report have ever been recovered. Individually many people have seen UFOs. We can't dispute the fact that they do exist. You decide for yourself.